dang guys, I'm at this creek right here and I don't have bait. I, I've been looking for worms and stuff, but I can't seem to find anything. What's that? Oh, perfect. This spotted lanternfly. A breeding pair, actually. Perfect. In the past few years, these dudes have become very prominent. If you don't know what these are, these are spotted lanternflies. They were introduced from Asia not too long ago, about three years ago. And in the recent year and a half, they have exploded in numbers. Um, and what happens when a lot of bugs become very prominent near a creek or watershed? They tend to become in that watershed and fish tend to eat them. So I'm hoping that these will be awesome bait. What better way to use an invasive species than use them as bait? Don't worry, the creek is right behind me. I am not introducing an invasive species to this watershed. They are literally everywhere already. Um, so, might as well use this breeding pair that I found, which is good because we don't want more eggs, more spotted lanternflies. Well, so let's feed them to the fish. Let's go. I wonder if they bite. Probably not. Holy sh! Where to go? <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, come back. There's a few. All right, guys. We've got our bag of spotted lanternflies. It is time to catch a ton of fish on these. Alrighty, guys. Let's get our first piece of bait in here. Spotted lanternfly. There it goes, boys. Let's see if we can actually cast this thing while it's trying to fly. Surprisingly, it does not float. <laughs> Added a crusty bobber on here because these things just did not cast. So, we're going to put them out there. Oh, something <laughs> ate it already. Swiped it off the surface, but he didn't grab it. No, I'm not sure if it's, just, if it's just that there's no fish around or what, but nothing seems to be taking interest into the lanternflies as of right now. Might just be the spot, might just be the area, but nothing is biting these bugs like they would a worm. Quite interesting, actually. They're attacking the bobber and not the spotted lanternfly. So very interesting, at this spot, fished here for about 15-20 minutes, took numerous casts behind this dam where deep water, typically tons of fish are, not even a single bite. Not sure why, if there were even fish there, if the fish just didn't want anything to do with a spotted lanternfly. I don't know, maybe they release some chemicals when they're stressed, I have no idea. But this spot did not produce any fish, so we're going to move downstream. Hopefully we'll get something to eat the spotted lanternfly. Alright guys, next spot, sometimes there's some trout sitting in this hole late season, some smallmouth, so we're just going to drift the lanternfly at, back, at the back top of the hole and see what happens. I imagine it's going to get eaten by a red breast sunfish or something along those lines before it gets to any trout. But we're just going to walk along this and let it drift. The bobber seems to be colored kind of like some of the leaves, so Shouldn't worry about that spooking. There's a trout jumping on the, on the back side of this hole. Oh, there's a bite. Ah! First bite, missed it. Spider land fly got decapitated. <laughs> Not sure what that was. So we had our first bite on the lantern fly. 
the wi it kind of it's kind of just the abdomen and the wings left now but I think that the coloring of this should still entice some fish to bite okay time to drift this thing the current is kind of sh really shallow here so it's kind of catching in the rocks but we're about to drift through the place of the trout so that it uh oh oh I can't even tell what those were honestly they're probably fall fish or creek chubs maybe oh he's got it got it oh dude I don't know what those are <laughs> well he's got it again oh what the hell is that All fish. All right, guys. The first fish on the spotted landfly is a fall fish. Interesting. It's like the second, third day of fall, and we've gotten a fall fish. Awesome. Smoked the spotted landfly. This guy smoked the spotted landfly on top water. Immediate reaction strike. That thing is gone. There's one. Another fall fish. On the spotted lantern fly. This time it's still on. If I was a spotted lanternfly and nothing wanted to eat me, I would be extremely offended. Look how colorful they are. Alright guys, new spot, first cast. That was horrible cast, we're actually going to reel that back in. Do I have something? There's something. The rock bass? Red breast. Red breast on the spotter lantern fly. Let's go. And he crushed it. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to get some thumbnail shots of this guy. Nice colorful fish, perfect for thumbnails. So beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh, what's this? Another red breast. Crushed it. Beautiful. Oh, he ate the bobber. Are you kidding me? Bro, eat the spotter lantern fly. Oh, he's got it. Oh! Oh! Bro! That was a bass, man. That was a bass. Uh. Oh! That 
sucks. He actually broke me off. I must have had a nick in my line that I didn't notice. That really sucks. Oh. <sighs> Wouldn't eat, dude. These things are freaking slamming it. Hello, doggo. Is that a fall fish? What is this? What do we got? Dang, nice fall fish. Spotter lanternfly chubs. Pretty, pretty epic. Alright guys, that kind of concludes this part of the episode. I'm sure you guys saw I caught some fish. It's a little tougher than I anticipated. Uh, the fish were picking off the abdomen of the spotted lanternfly. And once it's off, the fish just wanted nothing to do with it. Um, but I did catch a few fall fish, a few red breast sunfish, lost some... I think big trout or big smallmouth, not sure, I uh, just couldn't keep them pinned, I, I don't know what happened. Um, but, we did catch some fish on it, so this was a success. Um, I will hopefully try to get out and film some more footage for this video, but if I haven't, I hope you guys know this video. Really fun going out and catching these spotter and lanternflies off the trees used for bait. You know, doing the environment a little bit of a favor, killing them, but, uh, and the fish, you know, they got a free meal out of it, so, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I had fun filming it, and uh, hopefully there'll be more vids in the future about this. So like I said, if you're new to this channel and you enjoy this video, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, leave a like and a comment if you want to see more videos like this. But that's it. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you on the next episode.